Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Emma Bada Habatikillah, one of our brothers in Uganda mentioned about how Salafis have ruined Dawah there in Uganda and that they have broken into, he said, something like 27 groups and they are making takfir of one another. And what I will say is, is first, as a great imam in this time mentioned, when he talked about the da'wah to Ahl Sunnah, because that's what we call to. We don't call to uh, groups or cliques or just call to the name of Salafia, but rather we call you to the book in the Sunnah. Here's what one of our great Mashaykh Imam Muqbil bin Hadi al Wadi, Allah Yarhamahu, said in regards to this issue. When he was explaining, he said, Dawah to Ahl Sunnah, Dawah Min Kitabillah Ila Kitabillah, Women Sunnati Rasulillahi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ila Sunnati Rasulillahi Sallallahu Alaihi Wala Alaihi Wasallam. So he said, the Dawah of Ahl Sunnah, this is the call that we are calling you to. He said, Dawah to Ahl Sunnah, the, the call, the propagation of Ahl Sunnah, Ahl Sunnati Wal Jama'ah, is from the book of Allah to the book of Allah, meaning from the Quran to the Quran. What Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's divine speech, which is the Quran, that the Da'wah of Ahl Sunnah, those who adhere to the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and follow the methodology of the Salaf of this Ummah, meaning the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala mijma'een, wa ta'een, wa ta'a'a ta'a'een, that they call from the Quran to the Quran and from the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam to the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. So that means that they're calling to the book in the sunnah. They don't call to themselves. They don't call to their clique. They don't make tabdi of you because you didn't sit with them. They do not make takfir of you because you're not down with their crew and their ideas. But rather, their scales, the scales of Ahl Sunnah, Mizana Ahl Sunnah, is the book in the sunnah. And the itikad and the madhab and the minhaj, which comes from the book in the sunnah. And it's putting the people and judging the people in accordance with that. In accordance to what? Our clique, our crew, our is? La. Kitabi la wa sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa la alayhi wa sallam. And that means all that is contained with Islam. So, my advice to my brother is that he should not be deluded by people claiming Salafiyyah. Because it becomes popular in some places. Amongst takfiris, amongst jihadis, amongst this group, amongst that group, amongst pure hizbis. But rather, as the ulama mentioned, and they mentioned this principle with regards to fiqh, with regards to aqidah, and it is. The reality of something is in its substance, not in its name. If I take this phone and I say that this is a hammer that I can hammer nails with, that doesn't change the substance. No, this is a phone. Likewise, the fact that someone claims Salafia, but yet they have Hizbiya in their actions, Hizbiya in their methodology, and they call to them and they say the haq is only with them or the haq is only with their scholar or the haq is with the three or four or five scholars they take from or the haq is with some takfiri or the haq is with some Sufi who glows in the dark, who says he's making hajj and it's not even hajj season and he lives in Uganda and he lives in Sudan and he lives in Washington state but yet he's making hajj outside of Mecca somehow, then this has no bearing on the truth. The truth is, is the truth. And that's why the Salaf, 
uh, and I believe it was Imam Malik who said, and you'll find this in a Tamheed, li uh, Ibn uh, Ibn Abdul Barra, rahimahullah Taala. And he mentions a narration, and I believe it's a narration on Imam Malik, in which he said, Rahmatullah alayhi, Rahmatin wasiya, in which he says, Al Haq, O La Yu'raf al Haq, Birijal. Wulakin Yu'raf al Rijal bil Haq, O Kama Qal, O Kama Qil. He said that the Truth is not known by men. Meaning I can't say I, I love Imam Fozan or I love Imam Albani or I love Imam Mukbil and that's the haq. Whatever he said was the haq. Blah. We don't even say that about those who are much greater than them in status from, our, from the salaf of this ummah. But rather we judge their statements, their actions, their manners, their fatawa by the truth, by the book in the Sunnah. So investigate what the minhaj and the methodology and the creed and the manners of Ahl Sunnati with Jama'ah is and leave off all the people who are claimants but who are just infighting and making takfir ba'dhum ala ba'd because they're going against the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam we're going to end with this hadith of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, on Abdullah bin Mas'ud radiyallahu ta'ala anhu, qala khatta lana rasulullahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam khattan. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam drew a line. Thumma khatta, uh, khatta an yaminihi وَأَنْ شِمَالِهِ Then he, he drew one on the right and he drew one on the left. وَقَالْ هَذِهِ سُبُورُ And he said that those are the paths. هَذِهِ سُبُورُ مُتَفَرَّقَةٌ عَلَى كُلُ سُبِيلٍ مِنْهَا شَيْطَانٍ يَدْعُوا إِلَيْهِ he said, those are the paths. And at every end of those paths is a shaitan that calls to it. Then he read, And then he read the ayat where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And verily, this is my straight path. It's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's straight path. And follow it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded us to follow the straight path. And do not follow the various paths. And then divide upon uh, on, on his path, dividing from his path. Meaning to separate from the path of haq. To separate from the path of siratullah al mustaqim. That's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's path. It's his path. Dawah, it's dawah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's not to a group, it's not to a sect, it's not to a clique. So it's very important that we adhere to that path. And in the beginning of the hadith, the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam mentioned when he drew the first line, خَطَّ لَنَا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهِ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَمْ خَطًّا فَقَالْ uh, or The Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, he drew the, the straight line, the straight path. The straight line was the path to Jannah, it's the path to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's the da'wah to Ahlul Sunnah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct, Sumullah wa anything I said that was incorrect from myself, surely, and the shaitan, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.